Does your lag look like this in Valorant? Well, do you want to make it look like this instead? Well, I got you 10 tips to help you with that and let's get right to it. Now, the first tip I want to tell you guys is changing your network buffering in game. Basically, there's a setting called network buffering and if you put that to maximum, it will basically increase your ping by a little bit but also reduce your lag by tons. I mean, this helps you a lot with your packet loss and TPing issues, so give this a try if you can. And yeah, let's get to the second tip right now. Now, the second tip I have for you guys is turning off your router. Basically, pull the wire out of the wall plug and wait like 10 seconds and plug it back in. This makes a difference a lot. I do it once a month every time and it really does help with packet loss. So give it a go and see how it goes for you. Now, the third tip I have for you guys is installing the latest version of your Wi-Fi drivers. Basically, find out what Wi-Fi chip your computer or your laptop has and go to their website and download the most latest version of the Wi-Fi driver. Sometimes your Wi-Fi driver can just be outdated, which causes some Wi-Fi issues. So just look up a video or two on how to like update your Wi-Fi drivers and there should be tons about it and just install the newest one out there and that should help if your driver is old. Now the fourth tip isn't like mainly for Wi-Fi but it does like reduce your input lag and make your games more responsive. And it's mostly for NVIDIA GPU users. There's no AMD and stuff on this but basically go to your video settings, go to general and scroll down until you find the NVIDIA reflexes. Turn that on to on plus boost which basically reduces the input lag and makes your game a lot more smoother if you have it. So just turn that on if you do. I don't know if it actually fixes your Wi-Fi, but it does make your game more like re uh, responsive. Sorry, yeah. Now the fifth tip I have for you guys is just updating your Windows in general. If you have a new uh, Windows update that's available and you haven't done it for like a while, maybe like a month or higher, just do it. Sometimes it might be a new update depending on what, what kind of version it is. Just do them like I did mine like recently and did help me with my packet loss. I think I got less on it. It might just be placeable, but I think it did help me. So just turn your, you know, just go to your settings and check if you have any new updates available for your Windows. Now the sixth tip I have for you guys is turning off your background application that uses Wi-Fi in general. So just go to you, like click on the arrow at the bottom right of your screen. I'll put a picture of it up, that, up in the screen right now, but basically go there and just like right click and like exit out of the things you don't need like a metal if you have open you're not using metal go ahead and close that if you're not using like chrome or steam or like epic launcher just all those stuff you're not using while playing Valorant, turn them off and overwolf all that stuff yeah and that will still help you like get your wi-fi like more prioritized towards Valorant. now the seventh tip i have for you guys is changing your dns server basically there's something called dns server you can search up a video on how to change the dns server and stuff like that to make your ping better I'm not going to tell you guys how to do it right now because I never tried it myself personally, so I can't really guide you through this one. But I have had friends who use this method and it actually really worked for them really well. So search up a video on like how to change the DNS server for Valorant or something like that. It should be like something that pops up. And just like uh, do what they do and it should help you overall. Now the eighth tip I have for you guys is just like getting an extender. Basically a Wi-Fi extender is a thing you can plug on a wall, like just on a wall plug. And basically what it'll do is I could pull Wi-Fi from your main router to the extender and send it to your PC. And you can connect the Ethernet cable to the extender so your Wi-Fi just comes faster, but it does really help. I went from like a 50, 60 download speed from my Wi-Fi card to like 200 plus with my Ethernet that's connected to my extender right now. So just look up like a Wi-Fi extender or something, just get that, that should help you. It's not, it's not expensive either, it's like 30, 40 bucks. So just invest in that if you can and yeah, that should help you overall. Now the ninth tip I have for you guys is just reinstall your Valorant. Maybe Valorant is being buggy. Maybe you need like a you need to like refresh your whole client once. So just reinstall your Valorant. I did this once and it actually kind of worked. I'm surprised it actually worked, but it did. Maybe there was some kind of issues with my like new drivers I was downloading and stuff. But once you reinstall it, it does like reduce it for a bit. I don't know if it's like consistent, but it does help for like the time being. So maybe try that. Now the tenth tip I have for you guys, the last and the final one is. Just like turn off your Wi-Fi from the phones and devices you're not using for the time being. Like I have like so many devices in the house, like I don't even use them for the when I'm playing Valorant. So I just turn them off. And this basically like lets your Wi-Fi like not spread out as much and like go in one direction while like like not losing too many networks on the way. So just like if you have like a phone or like a like second laptop or like something else in the background, just turn the Wi-Fi off them for a bit. This will like make your Wi-Fi concentrated more towards your PC. So there's not much packet loss happening on the way. Yeah, that's basically all the tips, guys. Thank you for tuning in. You know, I appreciate you guys. Link in the description to join my Discord. And yeah, appreciate you guys. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, bye-bye.